<laughs> but yes, we're going to continue playing Dragon Age Origin. We're gonna beat this game. Maybe I will learn how to throw in other games in here. Since I'm not like streaming it, I could do something. We'll see. We'll see. We're all. I'm new to this. You're joining me on this, so good luck. Cause I don't know <laughs> what's going on. I did move stuff around so the game is more visible. No more spider webs. I just need to figure out where is a good spot for me that doesn't take up too much screen. Alright, focus on the game. I forgot I had a golem with me. I think I might be taking it to his face. Just a moment. Hopefully I'll be able to like fix it to something I'll like more. The more I uh, do this, so yeah. Uh, I forgot what happened. Of course I did. <laughs> it was just yesterday. What we were doing? Uh, we did talk to this dude. We promised to find his uh, daughter. And now I have two sassy people and one goodie with me. So we'll see how that goes. I'll do it, shall. Now he's repairing stuff, so let's go. Oh, I'm not really on that with me. Okay. <laughs> so stompy. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you want now? Here's the one that I was supposed well, to do. Well, it looks like Owen's finally yeah. doing the repairs we need. Let's the go. damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. <laughs> Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome yeah! they won't soon forget. Let's go! Is <laughs> there uh, anything else I could do? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran oh, like okay. Dwin in the militia would help a lot. Okay, yes, I can but he help. flat out refuses. Uh, tell me about... He's a trader, a dwarf. Lives near the lake. Locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Oh, okay. Hang I on have then. a good feeling about tonight. Alright. Um, uh, Lake? A few minutes later. I don't know where this dwarf is at. Where is this dwarf? Hello? Is this a tavern? Oh no, this is someone's house. I just, <laughs> I just walked to someone's house. Oh. Ah, uh, hello? Someone's in there? Go away. This isn't your home. <laughs> Are you in the this door? This is my home. My home, you hear me? Uh. You should be in the chant. Chantry, come no, out. No, I'm not going back there. I won't. I won't. I'll come out now. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. No. Will you? Go back to your sister's and she's worried sick. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> ran through shell. Oh, I found the kid. I wish the, the daughter was only that easy to find. Alright, so this was her house. I wasn't trying to go for her house. Ooh, wait, is it here? Yes! Yeah, I found it! House, oh, the door is locked and it looks as if so it's been recently repaired. Uh, wait. There's no sound from within. Um, knock on, knock on the door. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's so painful! <laughs> like I hurt my own hand! What the heck? Um, hello? No one answered your call. <laughs> Lock. Oh, I don't have a laugh pick. Wait. Alright, Liliana. Lock that. Lock pick that door. Oh no, I did it! <laughs> I wanted Liliana to do it, not me! <sighs> Liliana, how dare you? How could you do this, Liliana? Can I load it? 
Can I have her interact with it? Or does it have to what be? What now? That's me. I don't want to break the door down. I'm gonna have to break the door down. <laughs> Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. I wouldn't have broken in if you just answered like a person. But then again, I would do the exact same thing. If someone came knocking on my door, I'd be like, no one's home. Don't look through the window. I apologize. We didn't mean any harm. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to oh. meet you. Now get out. This is accepted. Mur Murdoch says he needs you for the... What was it? How do you say it? Militia? So what? You recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Um, can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Ew. <laughs> I'll put in a good word for you with Bon I don't know who those are, but sure. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Fine. I'll throw in with the militia. For now. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Okay. Let's see who else we need. Oh. It is... Abandoned? Ooh, what's this? Very well. A shopping list. Wait, what? Quest I update. Find the answer for the barrels of oil. Don't increase it to defend. Oh, okay. As you say. That's locked, of course. Okay. I'm really lost. Very well. But I found some items. Tavern. Chancy Tavern. Tavern, 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 Tavern. Chancy? Tavern? Oh, Tavern's up there. Okay. <laughs> no, we I would have figured it out. Their numbers just keep growing. If I keep repeating the word, I remember. But how do I. Here, here it is. Hello? Bella. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. Oh, if you came here for a leading. drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Uh, there's an elf in the corner. <laughs> I didn't even see him. Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. Why you think he's creepy, huh? Shouldn't you be the, <laughs> the chanty? Oh god. Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the chantry. Are you fighting tonight? I will try to. That's yes. good to hear. I didn't know that. Okay, bye. You're safe. Where'd she go? Oh, she's a friend now. I was like, oh, why are they sitting there so uncomfortably? <laughs> graffiti? Wait, why is there graffiti? I found graffiti for some reason. Hello! Is there anything in here I could, um, borrow? Oh, she, <laughs> she actually going to look to see about Seely. <laughs> it's not as uh, extensive as Skyrim, where they actually follow you around. Alright, let's talk to the elf dude. See what he wants. For I also am an elf. Not looking for company. You cannot tell because my hair. I don't know how people can figure out I'm an elf if my hair covers my ears. Um, do, 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 do. Is there anything a fellow elf here? And that's all we have in common. Oh, okay. Just wanted to I'm chat. I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. 
I said I'm not looking for company. I heard you but What? But wait. How did you know that? Uh, well, that's my name. Why? Uh, so you're like waiting for your brother? Uh, what? Oh, yes. He was supposed to meet me here. And then I got stuck here when monsters from the castle attacked. You don't have a brother, do you? Then why aren't you helping to fight? I was told I didn't have to. I stay in the Chantry at night, and I come here to... to be alone, that's all. Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to... Uh, just leave me alone. That's really to be too pretty you have to do with anything. What were you told to do? Nothing! Nobody told me to do anything! Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people! How do you- how do you know I'm a Grey Warden? Uh, you could just tell me what you're hiding? I could give that a try. If I- but I never- Oh, alright, I'll tell you. Just- just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Oh. Is it the, the, uh, the abandoner? How do you know? We supposed to watch the castle for? So you know how this happened, tell me now. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick, I don't know. Uh, who are they? A tall fellow, I forget his name. He uh, said he was working for Hal, Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Loghain's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. And uh, just what are you supposed to watch the castle just for? Just to report any changes, honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. I tell Here, the truth. this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I think he's to help defend Redfield tonight. Redfield, Red Cliff. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Oh, you have a ranger now. You better not do anything bad. If you betray us, I will kick you off a cliff. Oh, we missing one person? A whale. Alright, I'm gonna talk to you some not that way. I think we have to go up there. Oh, wait, you probably should go back there. Uh, okay, I don't know about the barrels, but I'm gonna take a chance to go talk to the sister. I found her brother. Imagine if that wasn't her brother. If I just found like a dark spawn that was yeah. in disguise. Send it to the chancy and it slaughtered everybody. Oh my gosh. They terrifying. Mavin said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. Stay safe. The maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Is Morgan gonna be all bleh about it? No, she don't care. <laughs> Surprisingly, Morgan didn't just, like, get all upset that I saved the brother. Alright, uh... Alright, let's 
go talk to this dude. Maybe it's good to him also with the barrels. Hello? Oh my gosh, why are you so far away? Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. Come in me if you would. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with a great warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. I'm gonna die. Let's go. I know I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna get smacked. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not uh, prepared. Oh, oil, oil. Uh. No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Uh, enough to set many months aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? Uh, maybe I could do the help. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Mother, Otherwise, what? I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I'll see what I could do. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. I can't find him. I don't know where he went. Alright, goodbye. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. What? Sorry, I did not mean to. <laughs> Alright, gotta go find mom now. Mother! Where are these? She said. They said Chanty, right? Chanty. Goes my. But they just. <laughs> shouted me as I ran by. <laughs> Have an arrow just sticking in my head. It's fine. Are you a mother? No, you didn't. There. Mother, mother. Mother. Let us pray. Blessed boy, you are of elven blood and a stranger. Yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Um... I can't stand by what monsters attack the helpless. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Uh, needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Uh, what if they think it helps them? I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. Oh. I must do what I can. I like to the soldiers. And I suggest you do the same. Let's go. <laughs> when will they be back? I miss them. Be brave, young man. You gotta be on the tallest hill. Top of the tallest tower. Why are you here? 
Just to make me suffer. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Okay. Uh, said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Has some holy amulets with these. If damn... they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. I feel like he knows that there isn't such a thing. He just kind of wants that belief. You think it would actually help? Of course I do. These are Maker's symbols. What better protection could we ask for? I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Good luck, buddy. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far okay. more in need of aid than we are. Okay. As you wish, Grey Warden. Where is Murdoch? I don't know where he went. Oh. The militia is ready for battle. Okay, militia is ready. So, I just... How do I go to the castle, though? Am I going to go to the castle when I start this fight up? Very saved. Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. You couldn't have armed us with any better than our faith in the Maker. Yeah, okay, he did know. It's just a, a mental thing. I'm ready to make my stand. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Let's go. Good luck to you then. Let's and may go. the Maker watch over us all. Let us fight. Go for the eyes. Okay, thank you. I do love going for the eyes. They're nice and juicy. Run! They're coming. Get to your positions. Make ready. <laughs> no, I haven't learned to read for like forever. It's time, men. Know that we fight for the Maker and our all. They're all in the fire! Why are you guys in the fire? Oh my gosh, these guys are so skilled. Wah! Oh no, this dude's gonna die. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Can you not be in the fire, please? The oh, nice! They're attacking from the lake! They're attacking oh. the barricades! We need help! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'll guard the path. Come on! We need to hurry! Oh, I'm going. Can I just get, like, a knife and just start shanking them? Wait. Can I get a knife and start just start shanking them? <laughs> no, my God! <sighs> Did I do it? <gasps> Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We Woo! are victorious. <laughs> and though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. There's so much more to do. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those <laughs> who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. Oh, you did he die? And so many Gosh, others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be oh, wary okay. and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. I guess I could stop it here. If you enjoyed this, <laughs> don't forget to like and follow. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye!